you want to work on multiplying polynomials vertically. Usually, if we have two polynomials, polynomials and we're going to multiply them, if they're, if they're binomials, then we use FOIL, don't we? But here we have the case where this is not a binomial, this is a trinomial because it has one term, two terms, three terms. So this probably is how, this is one way you might do this. Before we do that, can we just go back and do this question really easily? I realize how easy this is, but it reminds us, I think, what the rules are here. Take the first number, that would be this one, and we just multiply through, so 1 times 1, 1 times 2, 1 times 3. What do we do next? Yeah, exactly, put a placeholder in. Remember, what we're saying we're going to do here is what we're going to do on this other side. So this is just a demonstration of that, right? I said before, when I make a placeholder, I put a little line under it. Uh, my wife used to put a dot in the middle of hers. You can do it any way you want, but I'm going to put this little thing here just to remind myself that this zero got put here as a placeholder. And then I'm going to start working on this other part. 2 times 1 is 2. And remember, this 2 is not really a 2. It's a 20, and 20 times 1 is 20. That's where that came from, right? 2 times 2 is 4 here, isn't it? And 2 times 2 is, I'm sorry, 2 times 3 is 6. So we can finish this math if you want just by adding all this stuff together. My point is that this multiplication of polynomials it follows the same rules as it always has since third grade or fourth grade, second grade, when you guys, you geniuses just started doing that. So, all right. So let's try that. So what's the first number that we're going to multiply by? Good. And it's negative three, isn't it? So we're going to take this negative three, this negative three right here. This is the first thing we're going to multiply by is this negative three. And we're going to multiply it by everything here, right? So negative three times positive four is negative 12. And then what? Negative 3 times what? Times positive 2x's is negative 6x's. Negative 6x. Now what? Yeah. Negative 3 times negative x squared is good job. Positive 3x squared. Good job. Now what? If you can remember this little problem we had over here in your head, what do we do next? It really is crucial because if we don't, we can mess, mess, mess something up. Yeah. Put a, we are going to multiply by this positive x right here, aren't we? But what are we going to put here? I'm going to put a placeholder here, so I'm just going to drop a zero in here. Otherwise, look what, what might happen. Now I have 4 times x is 4x. Without the placeholder, I might put the 4x here. I don't know about you, that's when I start making mistakes. So I'm just going to avoid that. I'm going to put a placeholder here. And then when I multiply this x times this positive 4, I'm going to get positive 4x. Is that okay? And then x times what? x times 2x is... Right, positive 2x squared. So 2... Whoops. I'm going to try to line that up. 2x squared... It's positive. Now what do we have? Right, we have x times negative x squared is negative x cubed. Now if you can see the problem we had over here in your head, if you wrote that down, and we had 21 times 321, what do we do at the very end? Yeah, we added those products together to get a final product. And we add negative 12 plus 0 is is, good job, is negative 12. Negative 6x's plus 4x's is negative 2x, good job. 3x squared plus 2x squared is God, good job, 5x squared. And then lastly, this is a 0 over top of this, isn't it? We're going to add 0 plus this is what? Negative x cubed. Yeah, I'm trying to be more careful about that myself. So I think we have our, our final answer, don't we? And this is our answer right here in the corners. You want me to be able to find it, so you put some really nice box around it so I can find that easily. How was that? Right? Same rules as multiplying numbers, placeholders, right? 
being careful to line up like variables, x to the first over x to the first, x squareds over x squareds, x cubes over x cubes. You know, we could even write this placeholder up here. We could write this as how many x cubes do we have up here? Yeah, you could even write it as zero x cubes up here, couldn't you? Except for Here? Here? Oh, yeah, of course. That's a really good question. And, yeah, so is that possible that you could have an x squared or an x cubed down here? Yes, and you'd have to follow all the same rules. You just have to, That's really smart. You have to just pay close attention to the fact that you don't have an x to the first anymore. You have an x to the third power. That's good thinking for you. All right.